हरे कृष्णा ओम ज्ञान ज्ञानाशलाकया चक्षुन्मिलुवे नम श्री चैतन्य मनोमीष्ट भूतले स्वयं कदा तदा स्वदा वंदेहम श्री गुरु श्रीयुतापतकमल श्री गुरु वैष्णव साकृजादुनाता तम सजीव साद स्वावदूद परिजना साहित कृष्ण चैतन्य कृष्ण पाद सहगना ललिता श्री विशाखा हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधो जगत्पते गोपीशुपोपिता राधा का नमो श्रुते सप्त कांजन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुष्टुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय मांजकूव्य कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावनिधि वैष्णवीभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद गदाधारा श्रीवासादी गौरव वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा शाश्विन थैंक यू टुडे वी डोंट हैव अ स्पीकर बट वी आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम second canto second chapter and uh, today's verse is 30 shashwin will you be able to read the verse yes. hare krishna om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवा नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मदीर नष्ट प्रायु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवते उत्तम श्लोकर्भक्तिर्भवती नश्वी हरे कृष्ण सूत सूक्ष्मेन्द्रियसानिकर्षा मनो मय देव संसाद्यगत्याति विज्ञान तत्व गुण संध <clears throat> so we'll uh, it's a long purport and then we will uh, read uh, the word to word translation and purport sa he the devotee bhuta the gross sukshma and the subtle indriya senses sannikarsham the point of neutralization manah mayam the mental plane devamayam in the mode of goodness vikaryam egoism sams samshadya surpassing gatya by the progress saha along with tena them gati gos vignana perfect knowledge tattvam truth guna the material modes sannirodham completely suspended translation the devotee thus surpassing the gross and subtle forms of coverings enters the plane of egoism and in that status 
he merges the material modes of nature ignorance and passion in the point of in this point of neutralization and thus reaches egoism in goodness after this all egoism is merged in the in that mahat tattva and he comes to the point of pure self realization hare krishna anyone wants to read the purport and we can share part by part Um, Sorry, Prabhuji. So um, it, 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 uh, I have some some people at home. Uh, yeah, just just give me one second, please. I I will. Uh, okay, then, now, let me let me start, Mataji. Then you can continue. Okay, afterwards. okay, okay. So uh, remind me, please. Uh, two 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 point two point three zero, Mataji. Okay, thank you. Okay. Two point two point thirty, right? Yeah, two point two point three three zero. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you. So you can start okay. in in few minutes. I will I will uh, take over. Okay. Problem. Okay. Thank you, Madam. Thank you. Purport by Divan Great H.C. Bhakti Vedan from Prabhupad Ki Jai. Pure self realization, as we have several times discussed, discussed, is the pure consciousness of admitting oneself to be the eternal servitor of the Lord. thus one is reinstated in his original position of transcendental loving service to the lord as will be clearly explained in the verse following verse this is a stage of rendering transcendental loving service to the lord without any hopes of <clears throat> emolument from the lord or any other way can be attained when the material senses are purified and the original pure state of the senses is revived it is suggested here in that the process of purifying the senses is by the yogic way namely the gross senses are merged in the middle uh, in the mode of uh, in the mode of ignorance and the subtle senses are merged in the mode of passion the mind belongs to the mode of goodness and therefore it is called devamaya or godly perfect purification of the mind is made possible when one is fixed in the and conviction of being the eternal servitor of the lord therefore simple attainment of goodness is also a material mode one has to surpass the stage of material goodness and reach the point of purified goodness or vas vasudeva tattva this vasudeva tattva uh, helps one to enter into the kingdom of god we may also remember hey krishna prabhu <coughs> sorry i can i can see okay okay hari okay. krishna okay. okay. thank you <coughs> So we may also remember in this connection that the process of gradual emancipation by the devotees in the manner mentioned above, although authoritative, is not viable in the present age because of people being primarily unaware of yoga practice. The so-called yoga practice by the professional protagonist may be physiologically beneficial, but such small successes cannot help one in the attainment of spiritual emancipation. as mentioned here in 5000 years ago when the social status of human society was in perfect vedic order the yoga process mentioned here in was a common affair for everyone because everyone and especially the brahmana and kshatriya was trained in the transcendental art and the care of the spiritual master far away from home in the status of brahmacharya modern man however is incompetent to understand it perfectly Sri Chaitanya therefore made it easier for the prospective devotee of the present age in the following specific manner. Ultimately, there is no difference in the result. The first and foremost point is that one must understand the prime importance of Bhakti Yoga. The living being is different species, in different species of life or an undergoing different terms of engagement according to their fruitive action and reaction. But in the execution of different activities, one who secures some resources in bhakti yoga can understand the importance of service to the Lord through the causeless mercy of the Lord, as well as that of the spiritual master. A sincere soul is helped by the Lord through meeting a bona fide spiritual master, the representative of the Lord. By the instruction of such a spiritual master, One gets the seed of bhakti yoga. Lord Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recommends that the devotee 
sow the seed of bhakti yoga in his heart and nurture it by the watering of hearing and chanting the holy names, fame, etc. of the Lord. The simple process of offenselessly chanting and hearing the holy name of the Lord will gradually promote one very soon to the state of emancipation. <clears throat> there are three stages in chanting the holy name of the Lord. The first stage is, is the offensive chanting of the holy name. And the second, second is a reflective stage of chanting the holy name. The third stage is the offenseless chanting of the holy name of the Lord. In the second stage only, the, second, the stage of reflection between the offensive and offenseless stage, stages, one automatically attains the stage of emancipation. And in the offenseless stage, one actually enters into the kingdom of God. Although physically he may apparently be within the material world to attain the offenseless stage, one must be on God in the following manner. Hare Krishna. Can someone else take over, please? Okay. Hare Krishna. Can, I mean, do anyone want to take up the service of continuing the purport? Okay, Mataji, I'll continue. When we speak of okay. hearing and chanting, it means that not only should one chant and hear of the holy name of the Lord as Rama, Krishna, or systematically the 16 names, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. But one should also read and hear the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. In the Association of Devotees, the primary practice of Bhakti Yoga will cause the seed already sown in the heart to sprout. And by regular watering process, as mentioned above, the Bhakti Yoga creeper will begin to grow. By systematic nurturing, the creeper will grow to such an extent that it will penetrate the coverings of the universe. As we have heard in the previous verses, reach the effulgent sky, the Brahma Jyoti, and go further, farther and farther, and, and reach the spiritual sky, where there are innumerable spiritual planets called Vaikuntha Lokas. Above all of them is Krishna Loka, or Goloka Vrindavana, wherein the following creeper enters and takes response, repose at the lotus feet of the Lord Sri Krishna, the original personality of Godhead. When one reaches the lotus feet of the Lord Krishna, of Lord Krishna at Goloka Vrindavana, the watering process of hearing and chanting, as also chanting of the holy name in the pure devotional stage fructifies and the fruits grown there in the form of love of God are tangibly tasted by the devotee. Even though he is here in this material world, the ripe fruits of love of God is re are relished by only by the devotees constantly engaged in the watering process as described above. But the working devotee must always be mindful so that the creeper which has so grown will not be cut off. Therefore, he should be mindful of the following considerations. Offense by one at the feet of a pure devotee by may be likened to the mad elephant who devastates a very good garden it, if it enters. One must be careful to guard himself against such offenses at the feet of pure devotees, just as one protects a creeper by all-round fencing. It so happens that by the watering process, some weeds are also grown. And unless such weeds are, are uprooted, the nurturing of the main creeper or the creeper of Bhakti Yoga may be hampered. Actually, these weeds are material enjoyment, merging of the self in the absolute without separate individuality, and many other desires in the field of religion, economic development, sense enjoyment, and emancipation. There are many other weeds like disobedience to the tenets of the revealed scriptures, unnecessary engagements, killing animals and hankering after material gain, prestige and adoration. If sufficient care is not taken, then the watering process may only help to breed the weeds, stunting the healthy growth of the main creeper and resulting in no fructification of the ultimate requirement of love of God. The devotee must therefore be very careful to approve the different weeds in the very beginning. Only then will the healthy growth of the main creeper can not be stunted. And by do so doing, the devotee is able to relish the fruit of love of God and thus live practically with the Lord Krishna, even in this life, and be able to see the Lord in every step. 
the highest perfection of life is to enjoy life constantly in the association of the lord and one who can relish this does not aspire after any temporary enjoyment of the material world via other media hari krishna don't go oh. <clears throat> i think i'm i'm lost here uh so do i start with um, offense by by one at the feet of a few devotee yes yes mataji okay okay thank you so number one offers offense by one at the feet of a few devotee may be likened to the uh, mad elephant with divas you already read this no oh i already read the, i already read the whole purport mataji oh okay okay so so we just we, we, we just need to just uh, you know share our realizations um, okay and we are just discuss few points mataji okay babaji okay so um we see here let's, let's go let's go one uh one first what did we see 29 the devotee that this is 29 uh, translation the devotee that surpasses the, the subtle object of different sense senses like aroma by smelling the palate by tasting the vision by seeing form touch by contacting the vibration of the ear by by ethereal identification and the sense organ by material activities so here <clears throat> we are talking about the lord in the heart the lord in the heart is paramatma the lord has three three features as in you know, a three aspects he is a uh, brahman brahman and the paramatma and the bhagavan so in the heart the lord is is a paramatma so once a uh, devotee start uh, realizing that uh, the, the lord is in our heart then that the devotee or the, the person who is not yet a devotee maybe when he is because many yogis they are not devotees they are just yogis they have they have this uh, this capacity of uh, of knowing the God, the lord but they are not devotees they don't do devotional service unto the lord so then what happens when they start realizing in their heart that paramatma is there then uh, they start controlling their senses because they know uh, uh pramata is witnessing everything they are doing so they start uh controlling the senses and here is given uh, the five the five senses what what we how we do it so also we know uh, it's spoken uh, within this in uh, text 30 uh, we spoke about chitana mahaprabhu so chitana mahaprabhu when he when he appeared he appeared in this world just to give us uh, <clears throat> just to give uh, to teach us the bhagavatam he came for uh, for for the purpose of giving us the uh, hari naam sankirtan for this uh, for this age for this, for this kali yuga because in this kali yuga uh, we are very um, we are prone to laziness we are short lived that is uh, people are very jealous and uh, lazy and uh, not well versed and, and uh, We, we we don't follow the varnashrama system so everything is like upside down so chitta mahaprabhu when he came he 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 um he taught us the uh, the bhagavat and he gave the hari naam sankirtan because in the previous ages like in the sati yuga people were doing people were doing the um, uh, meditation we know hiranyakashipu he meditated for 36000 years but what did he achieve at 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 the end he was killed by the lord himself and we know in uh, that was in, in such a yuga and in treta yuga uh, people were were doing um, yagna the fire sacrifices big big fire sacrifices and uh, uh, even lord ram when uh, mother sita went to the forest lord ram was doing yagna but it should be done with both uh, uh, husband and wife together lord ram was every time he will he will do a fire sacrifice a yagna 
he will he will uh, build a, um, a deity of Sita Mata with pure gold and will make a sit next to him. Then he will uh, do the yagna. I'm sorry, this is a garage opening and closing the soil is there. So, so and, and now also they had the uh, uh, brahmanas who are qualified brahmanas. They had the, uh, all the paraphernalia were pure. They had all the ingredients, pure, clean. But nowadays we don't get, because because animals are being being fed on all kinds of, of uh, uh, things so that we don't get pure ghee. And brahmanas, they don't know the uh, proper mantra. And brahmanas should only learn and teach that brahmanas they are. Uh, they are kind of working and taking money and making a price for whatever they are doing. So that is also there. And then in in the uh, Dwarpa Yuga, people were doing the um, devotional service, doing deity service whole day. Like even in some Iskon temple nowadays, we see four four o'clock in the morning, four thirty RT, and then Guru Puja, and then two three RT Guru Puja, and then it goes on until nine o'clock Sayan RT. So, but people cannot do that. It's very difficult. You have to be engaged there. If everybody just gets engaged in temple, then uh, Grihastha has to work so to support. So then Chitama Book came, and he started the. Sankirtana movement, and then he he also taught the Srimad Bhagavatam to the general public. So probably you can take over now, and then we can discuss like this. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, yes, Mataji. Um, Chaitanya, when uh, you were talking about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, I couldn't hold myself uh, thinking of the Shikshashtakam. Shikshashtakam um, is so concise and then so deep uh, meaning of the, the current process of uh, spiritual realization and then getting the highest perfection of life that is Krishna Prema. So in the Shikshashtakam, uh, it's the, the it's it's, a, it's a eight verses and then it has every uh, limb of activity of the devotional service. Just let's say, First, the first verse talks about uh, Cheto Darpana Marjanam. That means you are cleansing your heart of the the different uh, kalmashas, you know, different uh, uh, impurities you have in the heart. Just like the mirror of the heart, it's compared, heart is compared to a mirror which is covered by a lot of dust. So we can't see ourselves very well in the mirror who we are. So Cheto Darpana Marjanam Bhava Maha Davagni Nirvapanam. That means uh, if we are chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, if we are uh, uh, glorifying Krishna's names, uh, so Dhavagni, uh, you know, um, Shreya, I mean, Cheto uh, Darpana Marjanam Bhava Maha Davagni Nirvapanam. That means uh, this uh, material existence is Dhavagni. It, it means uh, it is an insatiable fire which cannot be satisfied. And then what we are doing, coming to this material world and getting the human form of life, we just ignite the fire again and again to enjoy the material senses which we have done in so many births. And then we don't try to douse the fire. So uh, Krishna consciousness is the, the Sankirtana movement and the chanting of the holy name douses this fire. Bhava Maha Davagni Nirvapanam. And then Shreya Kairava Chandrika Vitaranam. That means it expands the moon, moonlight of, uh, you know, uh, the soothing effect of Krishna consciousness. And then, uh, Sarvatma Stapanam Param Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtanam. Uh, so, it, it, the Sankirtana movement it can be complete, you know, because this process is very simple and then it can, uh, it can give all benefit. Akama Sarva Kama Se Moksha Kama Udharate. That means Krishna, if you go, he can fulfill all types of desires. You know, if if no, if, if one has no desires, if and one has full full of desires, and if his uh, if his desires are purified desires, all types of desires can be uh, you know fulfilled by the Lord alone. So like this, Chetan Chetan Mahaprabhu uh, in in a very simple way in the Shikshashtakam has told has power packed uh, the all the information needed for uh, Kaliuga soul. 
to practice krishna consciousness the next uh, next of the verse of course is nam nam akari bahuda nija sarva shakti satapita niyamina smaranena kalaha that means uh, we this krishna has invested so much potency in 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 many names nam nam akari bahuda nija sarva shakti that means this the each and every name krishna narayana govinda madhava keshava shri hari each and every name is potent nicha sarva shakti and then there is no hard and fast rule to chant this holy name so if if the rules are not there if the regulations are not there if you just by chanting the everything will 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 take place uh, and then all the purification happens so what what is the what is the difficulty for us to take up this very simple process but durdaivam durdaivam that means chaitanya mahaprabhu is saying even though there is no there are no hard and fast rule for chanting of the holy name and then it can uh, it can uh, abolish all types of uh, sins and then it can give all types of perfection but uh, unfortunately i don't have i don't have uh, attraction to the name like uh, uh, rukma prabhu was d- discussing uh, in his morning uh, usually he sends me morning uh, uh, you know snippets of uh, you know early good morning messages in that he was saying uh, mukunda mala sutra is one of the shlokas it is it's also uh, very nice that uh, uh, it is said in that uh, that atas krishna namadi i mean so, sorry um uh, ashare uh, etadi manushya loke sudam parityajya visham pibanti namani narayana gocharani so that means uh, he sees this is this material world as uh, met, i mean people in the material world as ashcharya that means ashcharya paschati manushya loke sudam parityajya visham pibanti that means uh, leaving the nectar of holy name of narayana we are discussing uh, kuhaka patanti that means uh, we are discussing many 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 other subjects we have so many uh, others bhushakai anantasya vyavasayaka buddhi ekeha kuranandana uh that means one who is focused in krishna consciousness his main his main focus remains the same of krishna consciousness wherever he goes whatever he does but uh one who is not krishna conscious he has got bahu shakai anantasya that means he has got many branches many branches to discuss many branches many many newspapers to see many many news to see uh, and, and so many so many things to uh, discuss but ultimately what is it bringing it is visham uh, propad quotes one verse famous verse uh, manushya janma paaye radha krishna na bhaje janiya suniya visha khaye that means uh, if you are getting human birth and then not worshiping radha and krishna that means wantingly knowingly you are taking poison so this is the uh, the effect of uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu's instructions and then there are uh, other verses going towards step by step step by step realization of the krishna names and then uh, perfection even up to the level of uh, krishna prema so even yugaitam nimeshana chakshusha pravrushaitam shunyaitam jagatsaram govinda hirame virahenave that means uh, if if we are not thinking of govinda if we are not thinking of narayana if shri hari krishna each and every moment becomes yuga that means yuga is at uh, 12 years yeah, each moment will become 12 years so that stage also will be reached as propada has discussed in the verse that different stages are there for devotee uh, you know in the initial stages he is uh, is uh, offensively chanting in the in the, in the middle stages his offenses are gone and then in the last stage it is a pure absolute state so shikshashtakam also takes to different stages of uh, levels of uh, you know realization of the holy name and also Uh, attainment of perfection so this is this is what uh, i i thought when when we are uh, we were reading this uh, uh, this long purport and then of course uh, uh, in the purport it is given it is compared to a, a creeper a seed and the the bhakti lacha beet uh, so this creeper goes goes from the kali from the from the from the bhuloka up to the krishna loka and then uh, touches uh, krishna's lotus feet so um uh, so it has to uh, it, ha- it 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 has the capacity to go and touch the lotus feet of krishna but uh, uh, only thing is 
when we are watering the the creeper there are also other weeds there are also other weeds which we are not taking care of the weeds so weeds will weeds weeds will cover up and then the whole creeper will be spoiled and then we have to nurture the creeper just like a, a, a farmer nurturing the creeper and then getting the full benefits of the flowers and the fruits we have to nurture the creeper and then make it grow and grow grow and grow in the devotional uh, activity so uh, this is what uh, i i was thinking about uh, when we when i was uh, uh, i mean we, when we were going through the purport um, any other realizations hari krishna yes prabhu ji sorry so <clears throat> when we uh, when we are reading this in the in the purport we see that many people what are they doing they just uh, they just see to the bodily feature like they go to the gym and they do the physical yoga so do they really know what is the meaning of yoga do they know that yoga is not a western world it doesn't it, it, no there's nowhere in any dictionary that you will find the word yoga except for people now uh, are talking about yoga so people don't know the yoga process uh, just doing some physical exercises to uh, make the bodily feature become beautiful handsome that's why so shri prabhupad also said that uh, they go in in some in some places and they do some exercises like monkey and they think that they are doing yoga this is not this is not yoga this is uh, just for a kind of show of outside but if people realize the real real meaning of yoga and start practicing yoga like doing the the devotional service starting from hearing the the nine processes shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam if this the first of all when somebody start listening that is a, a, a starting point then when when we listen it gets to our heart and from there we start realizing that yes yoga is not some physical uh, exercises yoga is to connect with the supreme personality of godhead and how do we do that then they they start becoming inquisitive how do we do that they uh, they start uh, thinking about the lord and after listening they start um, uh, chanting that the name of the lord but for all these people need to get the association of devotees also shababa said by the mercy of the lord when the lord see that yes this person is sincere then the the lord is manifest in the heart as paramatma the lord is manifest in the heart and from there they will start slowly slowly getting in, into the association of, of devotees and expanding their spiritual life then they will know what is real yoga in this way as you also explain about the shikshastakam very beautiful um, i like singing it also uh, it's very nice to hear and uh, also we know about about uh, why chitan uh, mahaprabhu came in this kali yuga as i said before but it is the most easiest thing to do we don't there is no kind of regulation for example Uh, of course uh, uh, devotees know of the of the using the the washroom we need to have a shower all these we know but for people who don't know it they can chant anywhere they can chant uh, any time and in any situation because it's just you are uttering the name of the lord there's not some people who sometimes we say people who are not initiated they should not be using two sibid right we can use other be- like um uh sandan wood beads but um even if they don't have the beads we, we don't need to count how many rounds i'm doing counting rounds meaning <clears throat> meaning that we are rushing to finish it but whatever we are doing wherever we are there is no restriction to just talk so instead of talking nonsense listening to nonsense just utter the name of the lord hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare even when you are driving when we are walking when we are doing our house chores except for when we have to concentrate in jobs that may be a bit difficult but 
still in between, we can stop and we can also chant the Harina. It is not, there is no hard and fast rules for that. Anyone, even a child can, can chant the Mahamantra, even an old person uh, who's going to die, they also can chant the, the Mahamantra. Uh, but the main thing is that they have to know about it, they have to get the association with devotees, they have to learn it. So once they get the, the hang of it, so it will be easy for everyone. Yes, Prabhuji. So, yeah, um, I can recite the Shikshastakam uh, if it's okay with you, and then we can close the session. Sure, Mataji. Okay. Shri <clears throat> Shri Shikshastakam. Chaito darpana marjanam bhava mahadava gni nirvapanam Shreya kairava chandrika vitaranam vidya vadu jivanam Anandam bhudi varadhanam pratipadam purnamamrita svadhanam Sarvatma sthapanam param vijayate shri krishna sankirtanam Nam nam akari bahudani jasarva shakti Yatar titani amitas marane nakalaha. Etat sita vakripa bhagavan mamapi. Durdaivam mirisam hajanina nuragaha. Trinada pisuni chena. Tarora pisa his nuna. Amani namana dena kirtanya sadahari. Nadanam bajanam nasindarim. Kavitam bajagadisha kamaye. Mama Janmani Janmani Shware, Bhavatad Bhakti Rahai Tuki Tvai, Ainanda Tanija Kinkaram, Patitam Maam Vishame Bhavam Budho, Kripayata Vapada Pankaja, Sita Dhuli Sadisam Vichintaya, Nayanam Garada Sudharaya, Padanam Gat Gadarudhaya Vira, Udhater Nishitam Vapu Kada, Tavaname Krahane Bhavishyati, Gaitam Nini Shena, Chakshusha Prabhisaitam, Shrinaitam Jagat Sarvam, Govinda Virahe Name, Ashlishya Vapada Ratam Tinastumam, Padarsanam Marmahatam Karotuva, Yathatatava Vidada Tu Lampatu, Matprana Natas Tu Saivana Paraha, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Shri Shri Shikshastakam Ki Jai. So we see uh, the, fir the fourth verse, Chitta uh, Mahaprabhu said, Nadhanam na janam na sundarim, right? Kavitam vajagadisha kamayi mama janman janman sware. It doesn't want, he doesn't want beautiful woman, he doesn't want uh, wealth, he doesn't want any uh, followers. But this is the, the, what is happening in this world nowadays. It's all the contrary. People want all these things. And if they don't have all these things, it's like they are, they are not complete, they're incomplete. So here, if, if they, uh, Chitrama Prabhu hadn't. Um, he didn't leave a lot of uh, scriptures or books. He just left these eight verses. If we read these all eight verses and we understand it, then our life is, is, is sublime. Yes, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you for the uh, wonderful recitation of the Shikshashtakam. Shikshashtakam ki jai. Jai. So... We I think we'll end the session uh, here. Mm -hmm. Let's chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra once. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Santara Chimad Bhagavatam ki jai bancha kalpata rubhyasya krita sendu bhavai bhaja patita anam bhavani kyo vaisna kyo namo namaha Santara Chimad Bhagavatam ki jai ananta koti vaisna vini ki jai Srila Prabhupada ki jai Thank you Prabhupada
Thank you. Thank we you got the opportunity to read. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you for Hare attending. Krishna. All. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, I'm ending the session here.